Well, hello everybody, my name is Ian, and today we are back in the Mage playthrough, and I did a ton to the house off camera, and I even made a little overground mushroom biome, and made the ruby staff, found the water bolt, it's a regular water bolt, that's kind of disappointing, found a lot of suspicious looking eyes, went caving so much, 57 lead bars and 46 silver bars. I don't know why, but there were humongous clumps of silver near detonators and TNT. I also got two piggy banks from the merchant down there. I found 23 bombs, and I bought a ton of lesser mana potions from the guy. And I just had some healing potions um, from other times. We're not going to be using that one glitch. Before we get in there, we're not going to be using the healing glitch, I have to say. We have to make our armor, because I have all that stuff. We gotta make some armor. Well, that is three defense. I'm thinking the top two of this, and then the bottom of the silver. That'll make, like... That's just gonna make nine defense. I mean, I've seen people do it with just an iron helmet on. I can craft a lot of the silver stuff, though. I'll craft the silver chain mail. Oh my god, no, no, no. Lead helmet, da 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 da. Leg grease. Da, 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 da. Let's get into this battle. Okay, so we're going to be using the ruby staff and the water bolt for this fight. And I, made, and I put an encasing around the arena so we could use the water bolt easily. I also need um, an amethyst hook. Just because I had the materials too. And I wanted to. Come on, I don't want you killing Alfred. We have a lot of um, mana potions, so. We should be fine for most of this battle. It's a pretty small, basic arena. But. It works. I have no idea what time of night it is right now. I haven't been checking. We seem to be doing like really good. I'm hoping to get like the full silver armor. I may have gold in this world instead of platinum, so. You have to work with gold. You may have already known that by the ruby staff because it's made with gold, not platinum. Platinum makes the diamond staff. The ruby staff's not as good as the water bowl. I just I wanted to make it just in case I um, needed a backup weapon that didn't take as much mana. Oh, the nurse poisoned him. Sweet. Let's get these all over the place. You don't have to. I'm making a video right now, Joey. I don't need your crap. Alright, he's almost down. This is... I guess we were like a little bit over well prepared for this fight. Oh man, I took the magic damage to reduce. Oh, that's what, that's what the main sickness does. That's really annoying. i 
this a bit. This doesn't take as much mana. I think at least. Yeah, it's a little slower and it doesn't take as much mana. Yeah, see, he's down. Find him again. I'm down to fight him again. Right now, I just kind of hope we have the time. I may have the time to make like the leather stuff right as we um, like right as we did it the last time. I gotta have these things staying before he gets in here. And then J, and then J again. I don't really care about that mana sickness. I mean, the mana sickness isn't good. I mean, it's J. Day. We got the correct seeds, and we also got um um we also really got what we wanted by that fight, Demonite. Even though we can't do anything with it, I don't think. Can you even do anything with this stuff? Malays, that's a yo yo, light Spain, works at night, demon blow, fisher of souls. Can't do any magic stuff with this. What? I kind of want to go take on the Eater of Worlds, though. I'll just take him on. I'm down for that. Really, like, I'm down for that. I'm taking them on. We just have to, uh, um, make some platforms, though, so we can get down without death. Actually, that's what ropes are for. While we're down there, that's basically our entire arena because it's basically just walls and we should be able to water bolt our way there. We should be able to water bolt our way pretty well. I mean, potion sickness is bad, but it's not too uh, um, effective, if you know what I mean. I mean, like, it's not the strongest thing. Hopefully, while we're down there, we get a vile thorn. Hopefully, we'll be able to make a yo yo. I mean, not the yo yo, we can't use the yo yo. Um, the shadow armor set. Hopefully, we'll be able to fight like two if that's what we need, like that many. Shadow skills, and we really just need the nightmare pickaxe right now. Do summon weapons count as mana weapons because they use mana to summon them? I don't know. I'll watch some mana. I'll watch some um, mana series. I'll watch some episodes, like later episodes in a mana series, and see if they use summoner weapons because technically it's a different class, but technically it uses mana. I would class it as one because it uses because they would use mana. But I've got no idea what the people who, like what the developers class it as. I don't want to take any risks classing classifying this stuff. So I guess I'll just look at the wiki and see if um in magic items there's summoner items. Which I'm hoping there are. Oh, 
Hopefully this is the way down to that big chasm. There seems to be a shadow orb down there. Oh god, that way, yeah. Actually, that's not a shadow orb. Crap. Oh, it's down there. I'm gonna get down there. Let's hope we get a vile thorn. Rusty hammer is here. We got a musket. I mean, that'd be useful for the um, ranger series, but this isn't the, the ranger series. This is the all new mage series. Dun 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 dun. Can just get out of there. Well, maybe we'll be able to kill the evil worlds today. A band of star pat. Ooh, that's good. That's useful. Mm -hmm. 
a band of star power is going to be useful. I guess we can like switch between the two. And at least now we can get another mana crystal to use. I'm sorry if this doesn't look like um, a proper mage loadout. Right now it's not supposed to look like a proper mage loadout. That one's going to explode somewhere else. I can just use the ebon stone. And I see you up there, Ear of Souls. Like, there used to be, like, big eaters and small eaters. And also with the regular eaters of souls, but... Hope that doesn't blow my rope. It's gonna blow my rope, isn't it? Yep, it is. Okay. You know what? I want to summon your daddy. I want to summon your daddy. A ball of hurt. We got none of the three things. Or we got none of the things that we wanted. Because we didn't say we actually wanted a band of star power, even though it is pretty good to use. starts again like right over there on the map if you look at him he's right down there this is a good boss because he's easy to see on the map and he's like one of those worm enemies Oh well, yeah, you basically summon more Eaters of Worlds. So basically, Eater of Worlds is actually the boss that can be summoned the most times without using two summoner things. Without using two summoning items. an easy boss. And he's so fun. He's almost dead.
And let's see how long he is. He's almost dead. I'm also going to get the achievement because I haven't defeated him in any of the other worlds that have a crimson yet. And he's gonna be dead like right now. Actually, let's finish him off with the ruby staff. Finished. Okay, so now we got the achievement worm fodder. I only got that achievement because I haven't defeated him on any other worlds. Like the first, like Crimson Slash Corruption boss, that I, um, achievement that I've gotten on the computer was the Brain of Cthulhu's because I just didn't have a corruption in any other worlds. I just had the one, and I just. Crimson was all I knew for most of the time. Actually, even though I knew most corruption mobs by heart. I don't really care that I died with three gold right there. That's a really, really deep chasm. I was going to check if there was a shadow orb down there. Huh. Guess there's not. Maybe there is, but I have no idea. All right. We got the mask. Our first kill, we got the mask. So now we can make the breaker. Now we're going to also get the nightmare pickaxe, but let me just look and see what else we got here. We just, oh yeah, we gotta make our demonite bars. Okay, yeah, the, sh the scale mail was newly unlocked because of that. We need to make the Nightmare Pickaxe no matter what. So, yeah. Okay, um. Our Greaves and our Helmet aren't doing too awesome. Not too awesome. And this is a melee set, though. But. The best that we got at the moment. We've already freaking upgraded our um, greaves in our helmet twice in one episode. That's crazy. That's crazy. But if we just move this here, we can see our character. But I just want to see that awesome armor. We're just going to have to kill him like one more time to get the rest of the stuff. Like to get the um, chain mail. We'll have to kill him one last time. Because we don't have enough. So let's go see if we um, have. Let's go back to the corruption. And see if there's three more in our like line of sight. Like where the stuff is. First let's go check on my little mushroom biome up here. Isn't it awesome? My own little mushroom biome. Glowing mushroom biome. If you want me to be so freaking correct, it's a glowing mushroom biome. I'm gonna pull myself with this amethyst staff like I like I do the infinite flight thing. Except I'm gonna be pulling myself with this. I just called it an amethyst staff. An amethyst staff is very different staffed. An amethyst staff is very different from an amethyst hook. You know what? I'm impressed. Freaking mage playthrough. Second episode. We have a ruby staff. A water bolt. A bunch of suspicious looking eyes. Oh, what was I doing over here? Well, and light's a really good thing for it. So, boop. A nightmare pickaxe. A ball of hurt. We can't use that ball of hurt. 
I kind of wish we could, but we're going to get the vile thorn, hopefully. We're going to bite him one more time in this episode. I can see my recording timer down here, but you guys can't. It's 25 minutes and 24 seconds long. <gasps> Check your freaking timers. I'm right. Do, 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 do. We're just going to go see if we can fight him one more time. And I don't know how to cut out, so if anyone would like to put a good link to a video on how to cut scenes from YouTube videos, that would be greatly appreciated. Because I know you guys don't want to see me freaking move around like this. Oh, I thought uh, I was holding the thing when I was using it. I thought I was holding it, and I was, like, holding this ruby staff. Huh. Um, using this amethyst um, hook. I know you guys just don't want to see me do this, like, the whole way there. So please leave a link in a comment or whatever. I will respond to your comment if you do, and if there's any funny good comments, I still will respond to those. As normally when you take down the Eye of Cthulhu, you can take down um, Leader of Worlds in the same episode I um, I remembered from watching other people play on um, YouTube. And normally, like you're ready to freaking go on to the next chapter. Make a elevator, mine your hellstone. I have a nightmare pickaxe now, so you can get started in that chapter. Go see to the right if there is any. Oh yeah, and also now we can mine this demonite ore. And this stuff is all over the place. And also now we can very, very slowly mine Ebonstone. So how awesome is that? So it's like one, two, three, four swings. This is a pretty fast pickaxe, so that's four swings. Because it's a quick variant of it. It's a pretty freaking fast pickaxe. I mean, it's light. It's a faster variant of it. A better, faster variant of it. I think light is like one of the best things you can get on a pickaxe. I mean, we're not going to go around just, like, collecting all this demonite. Because we don't need all of it. Alright. So if I just take an ebon stone, I can break a dish block right here. You can get whatever comes out of here. If you get an arcane band of star power, you're like the luckiest person ever. Probably, I don't even know if you can reforge. Um, the band of star power have arcane on it, but it can. It's amazing. Oh, this 
pierces. So this is good for the your world. This pierces through an enemy. There we go. Thank God for these things called grapples. What mom? I look at Mars? Yeah, I do, but I want to end this video. 1247 mark. I'm almost done with this video. I'm going to end with a boss fight. Okay. Come down here. Hopefully we get a... I was about to say hopefully we get a vile thorn. Obviously we don't get a vile thorn. But... What? This is so freaking hard to get up like that. Okay. I don't understand why it was that challenging to get up there. It's a lot easier to do with this with a hook. So just so you guys know. I am not going back out onto the top of there to kill the eater of worlds. Or doing it in this little chamber. Well not in the little chamber where the crystal's in, but we're doing it in the chamber. Can't use those muskets though. There's melee. I don't need melee speed, so I'll just take regular damage. I really do not need melee speed because this is not a melee playthrough. Wild thorn. We got a shadow worm. This is a very freaking useful weapon, actually. Doing it in here is a lot easier because the ricochet is more often. So you can kill so many parts so fast.
my gosh, I thought um, my face on the map was one of the eaters of worlds. So I was thinking the map was bugged, but I have the mask. Uh, good old me. Except I'm not old. I just insulted myself. Call myself old. Oh no, I can't kill the foliar worlds with that. I didn't actually try to hurt it. Okay. That technically was not a cheat because that was accidental. I was trying to grab that. Oh, it's just three copper coins. So, wow. Second episode, already full shadow set. Is that amazing or is that amazing? I'll see what we can do here. Make some chains. Uh -oh. Pick one of those. Well, I have to talk to the guide first, and then he tells me. Yes. Yeah. Wait, right how oh, one second more? What are you doing? Yeah. I'm making um a watch in the game second time. So let me go over back here, and now it shows me how I can make. Okay, wait. Do I make it in an anvil? I thought I made it there. What? So I can make that right here. I didn't know that. Wait, can I wear two bands of star power? You cannot wear two of the same thing. If I take off that shackle. Oh, it's arcane. I need that. There we go. Yeah, we got two more than we are supposed to have. Yeah, it's good. All right, so. It's funny. On the second episode of a series you didn't think you'd be good at at all. have the full set of the stuff that was corrupting your world. I mean, I can craft everything of this, even though I'm not supposed to. I'll just craft what they need to. Look at that! I actually used to use the breaker as a weapon. Yeah, I used to use the breaker as a weapon. I'm probably going to have meteorite armor before I start the third episode. Jeez, that'd be so freaking OP. Huh. Is that anything? Oh, sorry, right, there's just a part of the armor. What's well, something we have? Is that this? Oh, yeah, that's a band of star power. Yeah, that's good. That, that's the just that's just the band of star power. Huh. Are we gonna have 
a bunch of hellstone before the next episode or something. I have no idea. But I'm going to make the elevator off camera. Because that's so annoying when, you, when people do it on camera. So I'm just going to create a Fisher of Souls. By the... Oh, I just broke that. By the bug net. Oh, that was a torch, yeah, that was a torch. Boop, I'll remove right back in. What? I have Cthulhu Theater of Souls, Skeletron! Shoot! <laughs> oh my god, because she had, like, I have Cthulhu. And then earlier I saw him have like the Eater of Worlds or something. I don't know. And look at all this. We're freaking upgraded like. Oh yeah, and I have to. I have to sell those muskets. I don't even want an arms dealer coming in here taking my houses. I refuse to... Oh... I'll make this into the next episode, and I'll upload this video right now, and then start recording again. Because I want to do this stuff on camera. I don't want to make a video 42 minutes and 53 seconds long like it is right now. Oh, that Duran. How'd you get so smart? Well, anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. I hope you all enjoyed this video. What? I'm doing it again. I keep re-saying it. I'll see you all in the next video. Stay tasty. Goodbye.